Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to show you how I style my curly hair. I have naturally wavy curly hair and I've been doing the curly girl method for a long time now. And if you know the curly girl method, you know that it is a lot of steps, but it works, but it's a lot of steps. So I just over time have dropped a few steps here and there and I have it down to literally one product and one step and that's it. So I wanted to share it with you guys. This is what's been working for me and it's super simple. I hope you guys like it. This is how I do my hair. I really hope this doesn't get fogged up because I literally just got out of the shower, but my hair, I don't know if you can tell, it's still, it's dripping. <laughs> it's dripping wet. So the first thing I do is I get out of the shower. I do not, like my hair is exactly how it is as you get out of the shower. Dripping, dripping wet. I just use a regular brush. They say to use a comb, so, you know, that's probably healthier, but this is exactly what I do. I just go through it. I put my robe on because my hair is so sopping wet that it helps like me not get so soaked. It's sopping, dripping wet. Like I'm talking, this is the key. Your hair has to be sopping wet. Now this is all that I do. I have one product that I use. Usually it's this one, however you say that word, quay or quai or something, curl cream. I get this at Sephora. Uh, it's kind of expensive. It's like 40 bucks, but this is a huge, I've had this for well over a year. It's almost done, but I just received this one as a sample from Sephora and I really like it. So it is the Bumble and Bumble BB Curl Light Defining Cream. So this is all that we're going to do. I'm going to use this light defining curl cream. You take, I have a lot of hair. Okay. So I need to use a lot of product. <laughs> I don't know if I need to, but I just go like this. I run it all through my hair and I flip, flip my hair. Hopefully you can see me, but I just run. Make sure you have a towel or bath mat underneath you because your hair is dripping wet, okay? So I just put all this product through my hair Finger it through. I'm gonna add a little bit more because my hair is so long. Finger it all through all of the hair. So once you have it all through your hair, I will scrunch it. Just like this. And just take it and can you feel the moisture? That's key. Your hair has to be sopping wet. Your hair has to be sopping wet, that's the key. But I scrunch it to death, give it nice, good scrunches. You want to hear that squishy noise, that means you have enough moisture. So now, your head's upside down. <laughs> you take a t-shirt, a cotton, regular old t-shirt. I tie-dyed this one one summer. And you take your t-shirt at the bottom of your t-shirt, you know, the bottom end, you put that over your head like you would a towel. So my head's in the, the thing, the t-shirt, and you wrap it like you would a towel. I just do a couple twists and then leave it up like that. This is also key. That's called plopping and that's literally all I do. So I let this sit for about 30 minutes I'll get ready for the day, I'll do my moisturizers, I'll do my makeup, pick out my outfit, and usually by that time, it's time to let the hair down. It's been about 30 minutes. My hair is still up in this loose t-shirt. So just so you know, I don't know the science behind all of this. I'm not the girl to come to for why we do this. I'm just the girl to come to to show you that it works, and I don't know why it works, because I just, you know, it is what it is. I don't know why it works. <laughs> But they say use a t-shirt, so that's what I always do. And my hair is super long, so it ends up poking through and all that stuff. But So now, once it's been about 30 minutes, you take your hair out of the towel. Your t-shirt should be pretty soaking wet, but your hair is no longer dripping wet at all. It's still very wet, but not dripping wet. So this is where we're at. So now, when my hair is like this, this is all that I do. I just scrunch it again. 
I just give it another good scrunch just to help that product. <laughs> Don't know why. <laughs> I guess it helps. <laughs> then I flip my hair back to, you know, the regular way. And then I make sure I get all the roots up here scrunched. So they say kind of the less you touch your hair, the better, which I do agree. But this, I do scrunch it a lot at this point. So now that that's done, and you have it kind of how you want it, your part where you want it, all that kind of stuff. Now you just go on about your day. This is all that I do. <laughs> I let it air dry. I don't diffuse it. I don't literally do anything but just let it do what it wants to do and because your hair was so wet in the beginning it's still really wet it's just not dripping it for me anyways it takes a long time <laughs> it takes a long long time for this to dry but it will be worth it trust me but i don't i don't blow dry it i think you probably could diffuse it but i just don't have luck doing that so this is just my way of doing it Ta -da! <laughs> This is my hair dry. It's a little bit damp still, but for the most part, this is how it turns out for me. It's pretty well dry. I like doing this method because my hair looks dry. It doesn't look wet. And I don't like the look of the wet curls on me. Like, you know how if you use gel or even sometimes mousse, it can kind of give your hair, even though your hair is dry, it will give your hair that like wet look. And I don't mind that on other people at all. But on me, I look like a wrestler. Ooh. Like I look like I'm about to body slam someone. Because my hair is so long. Like my hair is really long. So I don't want it looking wet because it just doesn't suit me. But I like this method because it makes your hair just look soft and dry. <laughs> soft and dry. Dry is in, is in like... It doesn't look wet. Since my hair is so long and thick, it does tend to want to flatten up up here. So I just kind of just do this. <laughs> I find if I don't do this and I just wrap my hair in a towel and I don't use the curl cream and I just let my hair dry naturally, it will go super, super frizzy. Like I'll still get a few curls, but I will get a lot of frizz and it will go really really big and you guys have seen it <laughs> i've showed it on here many times but that's if i don't do curl cream and if i don't do the t-shirt and just use a towel i don't know why that works but it just i think it's just something with the moisture and the i don't know i don't think you need to get sephora curl cream I, so i had that free sample so i'm using that the other one worked really good though away or way one that works really good, but I've used drugstore curl cream as well, and it works just the same. So, I mean, as long as it's curl cream, you're gonna get the more dry, not, <laughs> I feel like that's the wrong word. Your hair's not gonna look wet and crunchy. It's gonna look like it's dried, and it's gonna look like that, from my experience. I hope this video was helpful. Let me know in the comments below if you've tried it and how it worked for you. And I'll see you guys really, really soon with my next video. Bye.